Hey, Pastor Mark here. Thanks for coming back uh, again today. I'm coming to you from what will be the future senior pastor at Diamond Lakes uh, office. It's a lucky because it's all been drywalled here and uh, has a beautiful view of Diamond Lake. So today's scripture that I have chosen is Psalm 29. Now this is is uh, a hymn, a psalm of praise, and in it you will hear um, referred to as heavenly beings. Now, in both the Old and in the New Testament, right, there are writings referring to heavenly beings that are anti-God, so to speak, or um, who, came, who are hostile to God. So this text addresses them, and it's asking, telling them, to uh, recognize God's rule. Also, later on, um, God is compared to a storm. Um, and God's coming of the thunderstorm is God's mystery in our world. And it's like a thunderstorm. It just changes the normal, everyday happening. Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Saron like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes the oaks to whirl and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all say glory. The Lord sit, sits enthroned over the flood the Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. God has strength even over the thunderstorms, over the floods, over all of mother nature. God is in control and has that power over it. And that's what this psalm is describing. We might have a lot of stuff happen in our lives that is unfortunate and we're dealing with many issues, but remember to always give thanks. God is in control. And although that doesn't make things always go our way, we still have faith in a God, our God, who can calm the storms of our life and end the floodwaters of all our problems as well doesn't mean it'll, God will take it away, but God will see us through. Think on that. Hope you're doing well. Find something to pray about today. There's many things we know on that. That list is long, but also to celebrate and to thank God for the many blessings in your life. So you take care, stay well, be kind, and pray. See you tomorrow.